Welcome to Growth Fiends, I'm John Timmerman. Today we're gonna talk about what the heck is happening with Instagram's organic reach. I'll tell you what's happening. The same thing that happens with every single platform out there when it becomes popular, when it reaches critical mass. It happened with Facebook, it happened to Instagram before, it's going to happen again, it will happen to LinkedIn. This happens with every single social media platform out there. And the reason is because their algorithm is trying to make sure that the people who are using it, the consumers, not you the brand, but the consumers, enjoy the content that they're seeing. And when incredible amounts of people get on there and an incredible amount of businesses figure out, hey, I can market on this platform, they need to make sure they're preserving the experience experience of the consumer. And so they're going to set their algorithm up to make sure that that person who's logging onto Instagram or the person who's logging onto Facebook or whatever platform it is, is seeing the content that they want to see. And if that person is not regularly engaging with your content or content that's very similar to your content, they simply will not be shown your content right? So you can't get angry at that. There's so many people out there that are getting angry because their Instagram organic reach is going down. Well, you should actually look at this like a blessing. You should look at this like a layup that you can knock out of the park because now if your organic reach is going down, number one, you have the wrong audience. Number two, you're not putting out content that they care about. So you need to fix those two things. You need to find your more precise targeted audience and you need to put out better content. So those are kind of the simple things that you can do now as the organic reach is going down. Aside from that, the big lesson here is that you can't rely on one single platform to get your message out. Those that have built their entire business on Instagram now are backed into a corner because they don't know what to do. The smart ones have built a business independent from one platform. This is where I harp so much on how important it is to be less concerned on how perfect your content is and more concerned on how much content you're putting out on as many different platforms as possible. So I'll just list the big ones that I bet most of you out there aren't uh, focused on, on putting content out on. So uh, the biggest ones I know are Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. So most businesses out there know that you probably need to be on one of those. Then comes sneaks in YouTube, right? But you can go on hundreds of thousands, if not millions of websites, find their social media links at the bottom and you click on them and they haven't put a piece of content out in three years. You need to understand that you need to be, you need to invest money, you need to invest time in putting content out on multiple different platforms because you are literally losing revenue and business and awareness by not doing so. So you need to allocate some sort of resources into doing that, whether it's your time or your money, you need to do it, right? So those are the big ones. But then there's Twitter, then there's Medium, then there's Quora.com, then there's Reddit.com, then there's podcasts. The list goes on and on and on. And I'm not saying you need to be on all of those because you might not have the resources, but you need to start where you can get the most attention of your current audience. Start there, put out content once, twice, 10 times a day, and then start to duplicate that content uh, on other platforms. So a very easy way to start would be to download a program like Buffer or Hootsuite or Sprout Social, create a piece of content, and then schedule it to go out on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram to start, okay? It's not ideal that you put the same exact piece of content on all platforms, but if you're restricted in time and resources, this is a great way to do it. Now, you're making sure that you're getting a couple of views here, a couple of views there, a couple of views there, and you're hoping that some of that content that you're putting out catches the attention of more people and gets shared and that snowball effect goes, right? I'm not saying you need to just put out content and not care about what it looks like. It has to have a good message, it has to have a good story, people have to care about it. But instead of just relying on one single platform, you need to make sure you have a content strategy that's across all social media platforms, search platforms like blogs that can be found in Google and Bing, uh, Quora.com, which is kind of its own Q&A website, putting this content out on email, using influencer marketing to help amplify your message. I understand that it's overwhelming and that there's a lot of things that go into making these different marketing channels successful, but you need to change your mindset. If you expect to grow your business in the next five years to a decade, 
because consumer's attention is very distracted. And if you rely on one or two platforms, you could be literally losing thousands, hundreds of thousands, million of dollars in revenue uh, that you could be making if you invest your time and your resources in other platforms. So moral of the story, be everywhere at once, figure out a system. And if you're curious uh, as to how I do it, I have a very concrete system that I use to just film stuff on my cell phone, put it out on podcasts and on YouTube and across my social media. And it takes me about an hour a day to do the entire thing. Uh, I'll send you that quick little checklist. Um, actually, I'll post it in the description below of the YouTube video. If you're watching this on another channel, head over to uh, our, my YouTube channel and it will be in the description below. Leave me some comments, send me some questions. I'm here to help. Peace, everyone.